So let's take a look at our very first Chinglish mistake. So I'm going to show you a conversation, a very short conversation, and I want you to see if you can find the Chinglish mistake in this conversation. So here we go. Uh, it's between Sarah and John, and Sarah says, Hello again, John. It's good to see you again. And John says, Nice to meet you, Sarah. So, what's the problem? What is the Chinglish mistake here? So the problem is what John said. John said, nice to meet you. Now, this is not the right situation for him to say, nice to meet you. Why? Because we only use nice to meet you the first time that we meet someone the very first time. After that, we use different phrases. So in this situation, uh, John and Sarah already know each other. How do we know? Because Sarah said, hello again, John. It's good to see you again. So we know that they've already met. So then, because they've already met, John shouldn't say, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you is only for the first time that you meet someone. So then what are the ways that John could say hello in that situation? Let's take a look. We've got three options. So the first one is, is very simple. It's just nice to meet you again. So that shows that it's not the first time. We could also say nice or good to see you again. Or we could say, great running into you again. Um, so all of those are uh, perfectly good for formal or informal situations. And we use them the second time or maybe the fifth time or the tenth time that we meet someone, but not the first time. So let's take a look at how the conversation between Sarah and John should be. So Sarah will say, hello again, John. It's good to see you again. And John will say, hi, Sarah, great running into you again. Okay, so now John is behaving in the correct way. He's not making Sarah think, has he forgotten me? Are we meeting for the first time? He's making Sarah feel comfortable. He's saying the right thing. He's not using Chinglish. Okay, so remember, nice to meet you only for the first time that you meet someone. I'll see you in the next video.